Hi guys, welcome back to Too Many Opinions Podcast. This is Jeannie. This is Sarah. And Sarah. <laughs> I'm sorry, because every, every single time it's the second one, it's like, what have you done? What, what's what's new? Done? What haven't I told you? Um, school starts on Thursday Shit. of this, well. All right, okay, okay, calm down, lady. Uh, school starts Thursday, and so this coming Thursday, so when this episode comes out, we'll it will be, be I will already have had my first class. And it's economics, microeconomics, so I'm petrified of this class. Is it hard? Yes, girl, the professor already emailed us like, uh, yeah, you guys better read chapter two because you're gonna need to know how to do this equation. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Do you use chat, not chat GPT in the sense of do your work for you, but like to help you? Because sometimes I see that it solves the problem and it explains it to you. So it's against um, school guidelines. So if they do a search of your computer, and they what? see chat, yeah, they see So you can't even AI. use it to like help you, like teach you how to do something? Nope, you have to go on YouTube and things like that. Like I would have to third party, use a different computer. You know damn well. <laughs> you know whose computer I'm gonna be using. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy though, yeah, it's against oh, our, our school guidelines. Yeah, to use AI, it says it's uh, strictly prohibited. Haters. They want us to learn. Like, <laughs> well, learn, I'm learning, sir, just in another way. Wait, like, AI is just giving me the uh, easiest way. Yeah, okay, so right. that's going to be that. Which, oh, shit, okay. This third class is my final class before I'm fully admitted into my master's program. So if you don't know, like, at certain schools, um, you have to take certain, like, entry courses and you have to get a B or above in my program. So you can't get a B minus or anything. It has to be a B or an A. And if you don't pass those three classes, you don't get into the program. So... I got a B and an A, and now I have this last one. So pray oh for me. Oh my God. I know, girl. Speaking about school, I totally forgot that I'm going to start a film school class. It's one class. It's about 14, 16 weeks, something like that. And I am so excited. I have to go tomorrow for our last interview because I guess there's so many people applied. And wow. so, so hopefully I get picked. I think I will. Um, and I'm so excited for that because I'm trying to like deep. That's Dig, so dive deeper into this world of digital everything creation. I'm sorry, that's I keep scratching my nose. What the hell, girl? But, that's yeah. okay, but that's so amazing. I'm so happy mm -hmm. for you. Being in school is um like invigorating and also enlightening because it's like you're continuing to learn and nothing is more powerful Absolutely. than knowledge. So, so happy for you. So happy, and the fall is coming. The birds. I didn't know that the, these months were called the birds at all. Mm. Um, September, October, November. December. I am so excited. You don't understand. I thrive and I come alive. You would think in the summer. I don't. I don't really like the summer. The fits ain't fitting. Like, it's just not it. You know what I mean? But September, October, November, like, those are my months. The fall, like, fashion. Mm -hmm. Guys, I know I be looking rocked sometimes on this shit, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start for, like, not this season. <laughs> season six. <laughs> so I can plan my fits more. How many episodes are left of this season? This season felt long as hell, but like super fast. I feel like we only have like four four episodes left after these, I think. So, wow. It's, four? Yeah. Maybe less. Maybe less. I don't know. I don't know, but. Yeah, things are flying by and a lot to come. We're, we're not going to be taking a break like we've have no, we're not. had in the past. So that's not going to happen. Yep. Um, so that's good news. But we are going to create some content, hopefully get a trailer out there for season six. Yes. And just do yes. uh, another photo shoot and have some fun and right. really just show some more of us behind yes. the scenes. Also, we're going to have, I, I think. I didn't talk about this with you, but it's a suggestion. I think we should start having guests um, next season and not like in the middle of all the yeah. season being done. That way we can like um, plan out better. So it's just going to be get better. We've grown like crazy. It's crazy. What one vi like literally, do you understand that it's only been like two or three videos that's gotten us to this point? Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, hold on. All of our videos matter, obviously, but it's just crazy how like you literally should not give up when something's stagnant because one video can literally change that you don't even expect that is gonna just blow and i'm like what i go back and sometimes when i post i don't want to look i don't want to hear myself talk so i yep. don't look at the video like once sarah posts or i post i do not want to see it you know what i mean so i see all these notifications and i'm like what the fuck is going on right and then i notice like what did i i, I literally have to click on the video to be like what did i say <laughs> like what was it that yeah because once we hit like done or record and we leave i have no idea what came out of my mouth no seriously totally unhinged though. Literally, though, it is because we're here. We're in the moment. We're being real and authentic. We're right. not sitting here like prepped like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, right. we don't pre-talk about what we're going to talk about. Nah, we don't even tell. We don't, almost never tell each other what we're even going to talk, talk about. about. Yeah. Like sometimes we'll have a list of things and maybe it could happen. Maybe not. But for the most part, 
It's just like, okay, let's... Let's get to it. We're gonna get, to it. <laughs> we're gonna get right to it. Yep. Speaking of which, I probably think this is a good episode since we have gained so many new people. Like, let's just give them a little brief insight of who we are okay. so they can get to know us again. And then we'll get right into our next topic. Perfect. Do you yeah. want to go first? Or do you want to go, you go first? Okay. okay. So I'm Sarah. Um, I'm 33. I'll be 34. I'm a 90s baby Sag. Let's get it. Um, I'm Portuguese. I'll have a three-year-old son as of the 28th of August. Crazy. Three, so crazy. Um, I enjoy solo dates. I love to go out to eat, try new things. Um, I also enjoy the beach, traveling. I love weekend trips. That's like my absolute favorite thing to do. I love to try something new. Um, I also love to travel with my son and take him new places and just create new experiences. And I love to shop. Your girl is a shop aholic. <laughs> I love to spend money. So I need to keep making money. Facts. That's a that's really good. And mine's ain't gonna be <laughs> that extravagant. But I'm Jeannie. I'm 33, about to be 34 in about two months or even less than that in October. I'm a Libra. Okay. Um, what else about me? I work for the state. I'm an investigator. I investigate discrimination charges. So don't worry, drug dealers out there. You are safe with me. I'm going to go and investigate. Because <laughs> every single time I say that, it's... Yeah. Whatever. Um, what else about me? I have a boyfriend. Um, I don't really know. I don't even know Jeannie, things about Jeannie, me. Jeannie likes... I love to thrift. She loves to thrift. She likes to sew. She likes to bake sourdough bread. Jeannie also likes peace and sanity. Uh, 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 um, what, do you want me to keep going, Jeannie, on what Jeannie likes to do? I also love to shop. I'm a shop of freaking holic. I feel like I need the latest of everything, the latest camera, the latest... Especially with tech. Oh, yeah, you're bad with tech. It's bad. But it's like, good. It's good, but it's bad. Like, I have enough to, like, film a whole Hollywood movie. <laughs> We're going to make a fucking movie. Yo, we are. It's This is already a movie that we live in, right? Facts. Yeah. I am super excited for the fall time, like I said earlier. And I am, I just, I love creating. Mm -hmm. And that's just, that's just a little bit about me. I'm, like, a little bit of everything. And Jeannie's also super talented with her hands. She can make, sorry, I don't mean to, but oh, I feel no. like, you know what I mean? You're just, your brain fog is there. What right a nice now. friend. Yeah, I have a period brain. Right no, now. girl, but it's okay. But she's, like, super talented. She can craft things. She does tons of DIYs. She does amazing food reviews so go check out our personal pages follow us there follow the podcast yes, we love you guys you. your support is appreciated absolutely one thing about us is when i'm lacking she's up and when she's lacking i'm up so period as long as it's there it's there so i'm excited so today's episode do you want to let the people know what it's about let's get right into it so today's episode is interesting it's called the dangers of loyalty and now that this might is, sound that might sound like crazy. a little crazy right but it's true mm -hmm. there are dangers when it comes to loyalty and what goes into it, right? So before we do that, let's begin by defining loyalty and what it is so we can all have a very clear understanding of what loyalty is. So you may have to say that a little louder. Okay, so loyalty is a strong sense of commitment and allegiance to a person, group, cause, or belief often characterized by trust, support, and a willingness to stand by them through challenges. While typically seen as a virtue, loyalty can also lead to complications when it com conflicts with a personal well-being or ethical considerations. It's positive in aspects as such as trust, commitment, and has the the strength for relationships however loyalty can also be very dangerous yep and it can be a slippery slope it sure can it's like the saying goes my loyalty kept me in some situations that common sense should have took me out of mm. i'm gonna say that say again. It again my loyalty kept me in some situations that common sense should have took me out of sometimes you want to be so loyal to a person place or thing Yep. When you don't know that that's just literally killing you inside slowly. And it's not for you. Not at all. And you are just doing that because maybe it's the length of the friendship or the relationship. Maybe it's, um, it could be a church. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you, it could literally be any, Anything. a job, your loyalty. Jobs. Jobs. Definitely. It's huge. I've definitely been there before. Mm -hmm. Loyalty to a job can be a slippery slope. They make yep. you feel like family and da 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 da. The but gaslighting be crazy. Crazy, crazy. But yeah, the family pay ain't there. Where's the family? You're eating real good. I'm over here uh, fucking on a budget trying to go to Stop and Rob. Like, <laughs> and I'm heated. Nah, I'm what heated. did you just say? Stop, the stop and, and Rob. rob that's I them. Love that's them. Not Stop and Shop, bitch. They're Stop and Rob. Robbing our motherfucking pockets. You go there now. Nah, I need to go off on this really quick. You go to stop and rob, okay? You're walking out of there with one bag of groceries, spending $150 on literally five items. Nothing. You get home and you're like, 
What am I gonna eat today? Because I don't feel like I bought anything. That last two shop, days. Stop and shop is no for real, for real, real like real robbery in real life. Real. You robbery. literally like can't. You know how like grapes come prepackaged. You literally gotta take some grapes out. <laughs> no, literally, bitch. Literally, the other day I bought fucking six peaches. Six peaches. I paid. Ten ninety nine, bitch. Wild, bro. For, for a something fucking that, peach. For something that God gives us for free, because that's the crazy part. These motherfuckers growing it on their tree, picking it and selling it to us. That's not a motherfucking that's, that's, scam. Water is a scam too. <laughs> we really pay for water. Like, <laughs> no, we, we really pay, pay for water, which is crazy. crazy. Like, okay, sorry, I had to go off on that. Sorry, guys, but yes, um, it. Sometimes you want to be so loyal that, like, like the saying went. You really lose your common sense. You really lose your head. Your ability to fucking think goes out the window because you think that you gotta be this, this loyal ass person. I see it a lot with like, I remember it with like six nine, and I'm not gonna get into it too deep, but like when people was like, oh, he's a snitch, he's a snitch. And in my head, I'm like, these people try to kill his mom, kill him. What what's the loyalty for? Right. I, don't I agree. Understand. I do, I understand that side. It's just it's tough oh. because again, it's it's it also goes like, you know the situations you get yourself into. But I'll be damned if someone tried to kill my mom and I'm going to still be loyal to them. No, of course. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so I'm telling on everybody. <laughs> telling well, everybody. I'm grabbing a microphone. Uh, hello. hello. My, I, we've said this, we said this before. I am, baby, if you sell drugs, I'm not for you. Uh, I'm no, snitching. I am not the one. I'm not going down for you. Do not. I'm not your girl. Absolutely I'm not. not your girl. I'm not your motherfucking girl. So I'm sorry. It's, it's crazy like that. I want to start with loyalty in relationships you can start with that okay right? um some girls even take the rap for their boyfriends yeah like oh i'm gonna go to jail do this bid for him yeah and then like he and he's all free living his whole life cheating on you literally and you're out here messing up your life because it's not only the moment let's say yeah you get six months in jail but what about all the other stuff that comes with that right what if you had a kid your kid's now with, hopefully, the father. He's taking care of him. Right. He's not cheating on you. Right. Have another woman around your kid. But then you lose your job if you were even working. You yep. you lose it. Because what happens is they take everything. So if you go down for a crime, they're taking everything. He's starting everything. over, too. Girl, do not do that. So, like, let's be real, ladies. That, that drug dealer life is called cute and fun. And you may be getting the bags. And you might be getting the, the 150, 200 on a fucking house. You might be getting all that. But, baby, uh -huh. when, when those comes, DEA comes to the door you right. going down too right okay and in other situations too like you rather just take the rap for people and i'm not i'm not doing it listen to me i'm not going to jail for nobody period my loyalty ends tell me the truth so that i can make my decision like, and okay i'm gonna get in the car with you i had a friend that, that was like that like he we didn't even know what the hell he was doing and he was just like yo i'm gonna take you out to eat and we'll go in the car and he was like making a play and i'm like what are you doing bro and then if i snitch i'm not loyal correct now, then you're a snitch. Now, you're labeled a snitch. Now, you got the rap. When it's like, bro, you didn't even tell me you was doing this shit. And now you put me in this wild bro, ass situation. It's crazy. So, yeah, for, 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 I think I went into more like the friendship aspect of it. I'm sorry, but I'm not that friendly with you. Like, I, you could be my mom. I'm not taking the rap for shit. Like, that I didn't do. No, I'm there's so no, sorry. there's going to be no loyalty in that sense. And I also feel like loyalty really needs to be understood, right? Because there are situations that arise, right? Like, say we're out, you run into people. You don't know this girl, right? And all of a sudden she's getting into like a verbal altercation with someone. Mm -hmm. Girl, I, I'm stepping back. Like, I don't even know you. Like, I don't, I, I literally don't know you. But uh, now this is twofold. Yeah. One, I'm not getting in a on a in a one-on-one -on -one fight. I'm not doing that. So I'm not jumping no other girl, period. That's a fact. She, if she takes an L, she takes an L. But she's going to handle her one-on-one. -on -one. But two, I'm also not going to let someone get jumped in front of me either because I believe in, like, what's right is right. So Even, even if you don't know them. Right. Okay. Because that's crazy. Like, I'm not going to sit back. Even though I owe her no loyalty at all, I don't know this girl. I'm also not going to watch her get jumped. Like, that's, that's fucking yep. crazy. Yep. So yep. even though I might not be in it, like, I'll be pulling people off. Like, you're not yeah. going to... You're not going to... That's that's crazy violation. I like that you just said that. Like, there's levels of loyalty. For yeah, sure. like, yeah. I, like, I don't owe you nothing, but I'm also not going to let you get stomped out by five girls. Like, that's fucking crazy. So, um... I agree with that. And I also think there's something called blind loyalty, where, um... <laughs> that's really one of the dangers where it's the allegiance to that person cause place or thing just leads to ignoring all of the red flags and ethical behaviors. Perfect example was your friend who used to pick you up and would make a play like crazy, bro. bro. Don't be doing that. Bro. shit. That's wild. Yes. Also, I just saw a show. I was watching it with my sister yesterday. It's dancing with the devil on TikTok. Oh. She literally like joined. It's 
some people call it a cult. Some people call it a religion. She joined like this Christian group and like all of a sudden, like there's Christians that are super, super, super fanatics. Mm -hmm. Like she stopped talking to her sister, her mom, yada, yada, yada. I do understand in the sense of like sometimes as a family member, don't come and try to change their beliefs. Like accept yeah. them for who they are because then if they cut you off, then they're in a cult. You know what I'm saying? But there is religions that will make you like the Scientology mm -hmm. that will make you cut your whole family off. And they're so loyal to what they believe in that they're really going to like not spend time with their families right? over someone telling them that your family ain't good for you because they don't believe in the same things you do. That's crazy to yeah, me. Yeah, that is crazy. You know that what is, I mean? Oh, like you oh. respect each other's beliefs, but like we don't got to, when we hang around, we don't have to talk about religion. We could just have you just, just yeah, just have a regular normal conversation and let that not come into play at right, all. Right, right. Or, or, or I'm sorry, um, people believe it on the Democrats and Republicans, like, Oh, that's another. You're really going to be that loyal to a, to a party that you're going to like really get into it with your friends over it. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I believe what I believe. Yes. But I'm not about to argue with no one on, on something that's based off opinions. Correct. To you, it could be facts. But to me, it could be facts. Right. So it's like, is it a fact or an opinion, really? You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to politics. And I think that's such a good point that you just made is that people will literally lose friendships, relationships and everything because they have a different of opinion for a Democratic or Republican party. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. Like, I do feel strongly about certain things, but I keep my opinions to myself and I vote how I feel is necessary and what I'm going to do, what's going to do right by me and my family. Right. And that's what everybody should do. Right. And I know it sounds fucked up and selfish, but... If we're always thinking about the greater good of, of everybody else, who's thinking about us? Right. Nobody. 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 Nobody's coming to save you. Um, I want to talk. So like with the blind loyalty, there's mm -hmm. definitely those negative consequences. Because I also think that that goes hand in hand with toxic relationships. Mm -hmm. Because when you're loyal to somebody who just treats you bad or maybe not even treats you bad, but just is verbally not nice to you yeah. like that's also toxic mm -hmm. you feel me like why would you you should be loyal to yourself right loyal People, to the value that you have say that again you need to be loyal to yourself and not to anybody else yep. in these toxic relationships yep. like you may love them and you can love them forever but at the end of the day you need to look in the mirror and be like i love myself i need to be loyal to myself and take care of myself and not allow myself to be treated this absolutely. way absolutely look in the mirror and say is this serving me any good and if that's not, what that's with any relationship. It could be family members. It could be um, really, um, love interests. It could be friendships. You know what I'm saying? If you, f I don't care how long you've been together with this person. I don't care how long you've been friends with someone. I don't care. I don't care what it is. If it's not serving you well, you need to, you need to run. Period. I'm so sorry. Like you could think, cause I'm, I'm actually like that where like, I'm like, but I have so many good, like so many good times though. Like I don't want to forget about, about the good times over one, one or two bad times, but Honestly, sometimes one or two bad times can really steal the deal and erase 35 million good moments. It's so funny that you just said that because literally the next thing that I wanted to talk about was loyalty versus personal well-being. And you literally just hit it on the head. Right. Sometimes being loyal takes away from yourself, whether it be a friend, a relationship, whatever. Like excessive loyalty can compromise your well-being. Absolutely. You're putting them above you. Right. Their their relationship. But it's like, no, are they putting me on the same pedestal that I have them on? And if not, I got to go. And not only that, but like you shouldn't put no one above you. Mm -hmm. You except know what I'm God, saying? And maybe a except, kid. God, except God. And, and, and I don't even. You're God. And I don't even think kids, because, again, if you are good mentally, right. you're not going to be the best for your kid ever. So it's, it's not to be, I'm not saying be selfish. Right. Like, oh, I don't want to take care of my kid today, so I'm going to leave them by themselves because I need time to go to the club. I'm not yeah, saying no, that. No, no. You know what I'm saying? But like in the sense of like taking care of yourself, make sure you're eating, make sure you're exercising, mm -hmm. make sure like you're like loving on yourself, taking yourself on dates so that, okay, tomorrow I'm, I can devote myself to you. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? Like, 100%. Like I said, I've been a person that I literally give it all for my friends. I literally give it all for relationships, for, for everything. You know what I'm saying? And I'm learning that that's really doing me a disservice. It is. I'm so, when I tell you, I am so depleted. Holy shit. I am so depleted. Like, I'm so tired. Like, I'm telling you right now, I don't even say like, oh, it's a New Year's re resolution. I'm starting that shit now. Like, now, if you're not serving me or if I feel like our friendship is not going in the direction that is beneficial to me. Do you gotta you know, go? There's no smoke. There's no. no, there's no bad blood. There's no um, beef. None of that. It's just that you don't serve me the way that I need in the moment that I need. There's plenty of people that are like 
pouring into my cup the way that they should for me to be focused on the people that are not like for what? right 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 and i think that's so good and it, it really that kind of loyalty will really impact your decision making mm -hmm. and what you do and how you do it and the sacrifices that you'll make to try to do it so now right. that you're recognizing like oh okay um this isn't serving me they're not give, they're not pouring into my cup the same way mm -hmm. you gotta go I've said it time and time again throughout the summer. I've had a very lonely, quiet same summer. Like I'm not, I'm really not outside. If I am outside, I'm literally by myself having a martini, some dinner, and I'm going home. Mm -hmm. Like that's what it is. But that's because I've recognized that I need to be around people who really pour into me. And if I rather be alone than be with somebody where it's not, it's a fact, real. And not that it's not real, but it's like we're. I'm not gaining anything from our friendship. Sometimes even anger. Sometimes you're just gaining anger. Yeah, frustration. And then, and then, like you, you act a certain way, and then it's you. You're the problem. When in reality, I just been holding it in. Right. You know what Ooh, I'm saying? I don't think people should hold anything in anymore. I'm actually a person that doesn't hold things in. I actually just say it the way it is there. But like, I'm at a point where I just feel like I'm so tired of even doing that. That because there's people that I genuinely don't have to like. I could just literally be. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? It's almost, it almost makes me emotional to think that like, oh my god, there's really people that I can actually just be. You don't have to do anything. You can just show up. And that's it. It don't matter if I have a face. It don't matter if I'm, if my vibe is, it, like, it just doesn't matter. And then I'm noticing that I don't ever have a face around those people. You see? It's like my own body reacts to certain people and energy people. and auras. And your body receives that. You're very mindful. That's you the discernment. Yes. yes. And it's so important that as we get older, that we recognize that and we embrace that. We need to embrace those people and love mm -hmm. those people and start to cut out the excess dead weight. And I don't mean to call them dead weight, but it's like, why are we hanging out? That's true. Why are we hanging out? To drink? Nah, I'm good. I'd rather have a drink by myself. Right. Sorry. Like, dead honest truth. And I love that you said that. Me personally, like, since I try to pour into everybody's cup, I notice that the people that I need to be pouring into their cup, they're depleted. Wow. Because I'm too busy, like, trying to, like, please everyone that, like, I'm giving you a little bit of water, you, 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 you. But everything's, like, so, like... Everybody's literally got an inch of water that it... No when I can literally be, like, pouring into the people that pour into me and the relationships are just going to get better. And you're going to start attracting more people that are like-minded like you. Yes. But when you're, like, literally chilling with people that got nothing in common with you, you're literally wasting time and space. When I could just be meeting someone new, I love to meet new people. Same. Especially people that are like-minded, that like to do the things I like to do. That don't like, because for example, if you like to color books mm -hmm. and I like to, um, I don't know, give me a, a so, and I like to sew, right? And every single time we meet, you're coloring books and I'm sewing and I'm, we're just like, okay, like, what are we going to talk about? Like, there's just not really much, but let's say now you meet someone that loves to color. You could be like, oh my God, Sarah, I got these new crayons. Yeah. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Those are going to help me out. To the, you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. Like, rather than like. When we have nothing in common, there's just nothing in common. So, like, we need to learn how to, like, start learning. Like, okay, we grow, we're, we're growing up. I'm this person today. I'm not who I was yesterday. And maybe that's why we don't have nothing in common anymore. I and that's know. okay. And that's okay. And we get, we're still friendly. We're still cool. Mm -hmm. No beef. But time to move on from you. Yeah. And it's so important. I can't say that enough. I'm not who I was yesterday. Or the years before. Right. You're not going to catch me doing the same thing that I was once doing. I've outgrown that. I'm not that person. I'm not. Well, I, do I like to have a good time? Yes. But I'm not the same person who was 18 years old getting drunk, doing wild shit. I'm not right. going to. I'm not doing that anymore. I find fulfillment and joy in other things. Even if you tried, it's not fun anymore. No, it's and not I used the to thing. Be like, How the fuck did I do that? Now I feel like I'm the fucking old one there and everybody else, I'm like, bro, what is what is going on right now? I need to go home. Right. And it's and it's and if you're still on that time, that's okay too. Cause that's another thing. You can't be on the receiving end and expect like judging your friends again. Like, yeah, they're still doing that. That's okay for them. They're gonna Correct. grow out of it if they ever do. If they don't Great, but that's not my problem. Correct. And we got to let people just be on their own path. And it goes back to let's stop throwing rocks when we live in glass houses. You do your thing. I'm going to do my mm -hmm. thing. And let's put the judgment aside. Either we're going to continue to be friends or you're, excuse me, you're going to go that way and I'm going to go this way. And we're still going to be cool. We'll exactly. say hi. That's I'm it. Sure one day we'll have something in common and we'll be able to chop that, it up. Chop it up, literally. And if not, that's also okay. Mm -hmm. We'll catch up and. Keep it pushing. And that's it. Sayonara. Literally. Um, okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is just like the cultural and social pressures of loyalty and how society and culture pressures the 
pressures and glorifies loyalty, making it difficult to break away even when it's necessary. Yep. So all of this like social media and da 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 da. Well, they were friends for 10 years. Why aren't they friends now? And da da da. Mm -hmm. Or they were in a relationship for 12 years and now they're broken up. How how come she didn't work on that or whatever? Like it's judging, yeah. Like it's it's why? The, yeah, it's the same thing. I just did a video on TikTok, like talking crap about this Dominican mom with the Dominican daughter kind of vibe. And everyone was saying to me, but you're Dominican. Like, how can you talk about it? What's wrong is wrong and what's right is right. You think Period. I'm going to talk good about a lady that literally is jealous of her own daughter and is her daughter's direct competition? No, and crazy. because we're Dominican, I'm supposed to be like, okay, it's okay. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. So it's true. Cultural things too. Like if what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. And I'm so sorry. And I'm standing on business every single time. Every single I'm telling time. You. Sorry. I'm telling you. So, and then... That's pretty much it. I don't have any other real talking points that I wanted to cover, but I feel like this episode was so good, mm -hmm. so fruitful. And it's just like the moral that I think that I want to give as a takeaway is learn who to be loyal to. Yep. Starting with yourself first. I was just going to say that. So that that's there's nothing else for me to say. Period. Period. Till the next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.